What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Rick Creating. So today we're doing another review. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so today we are reviewing NECA's latest cartoon series of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Mugman. Well, this is one character that I really wanted as a as a figure. Um, I wanted the cartoon accurate Mugman. I used to have the original uh, Playmates um, Mugman, the toys, and uh, I know that ne I know that Super Seven is making their own version of the Mugman, which is based on the action figure that we had back in the day. And um, I did pre-order him, but I don't think he shows up till next year, which really sucks. But whenever that guy comes out, I'll review him and I'll put a side-by-side -side comparison of this guy so you guys can see that. Anyways, without any further ado, let's review this figure. So there you go. There's the cover. There's supposed to be like the old classic uh, retro VHS uh, tapes, um, which looks really cool. And it's going to go really, really cool along with the other the ultimate figures. Uh, this one, unfortunately, the package came out really, really screwed up. Look at that package. <laughs> Look at that damage in that package. Horrible, horrible, especially for a collector like me. To see these stupid boxes this damaged, it, it really, really, really sucks. Like, everywhere. Damaged everywhere. Oh, the front looks okay. I guess I could display it like this. Uh, but I sure can display it like this, or like this, or like this or like this so uh, that kind of sucks but anyways we have the window packaging here and this guy is a big um, I, I put the I put him side by side with the uh, uh, Biba character and he looks the same but I'll do a, a comparison later on with the with the with the Bebop or a Rocksteady figure so you guys can see the comparison in height uh, but this guy does look a lot more massive which is really really cool uh, packaging is the same as every other ultimate figure from NECA which has a window box right here it has a little uh, image of the of the character himself or the figure itself uh, the sides I already showed you all the sides and the pictures of the figures uh, this is a tall box this is probably the same size as the Krang Android body uh, I think the height is exactly the same so uh, I should go good side by side um, Anyways, so uh, let's get into the goods. All right guys, so this is Mugman out of the packaging. Uh, he looks really, really cool. He looks just like the cartoon figure. The only little thing I have is a little um, a clothing pin right here. Uh, it looks looks a little off to me, but you know, that's just me being picky. Uh, but other than that, I think it looks amazing. This is one figure, like I said, I mentioned before, uh, I have been waiting for uh, for NECA to uh, come out with and I finally have him in hand or on hand or in hand or whatever but uh, these are the goods that it comes with it just comes with two extra hands uh, this one originally came well with the figure and I popped it out just so I could put the gun display him with the gun this gun does not originally belong to him this gun is for another character which uh, i guess neca loves to leave, leave little hints on every single figure and this is hinting towards another figure because uh mugman originally doesn't come with the gun um in the cartoon series he just glows and he uh with the mutagen that he that they used on him uh, makes the other turtles weak or makes the ninja turtles weak so that's his superpower i guess you could say so he didn't need a weapon per se so yeah other than that these are the other hands that it comes with uh, i love these hands they look these expressional hands they look really really cool a lot of detail in that hand and this is the other gripping hand and then the hand that it has already on here is a trigger hand which is pretty cool because the trigger hand actually fits the gun as you guys can see there it actually goes around the trigger which is really really cool um, and then you got Joe eyeball here Joe eyeball his articulation is it's okay uh, his head does rotate all the way around his eyeballs don't not or do not move 
uh, but his hands do have a really good articulation. The top ones at least, uh, the middle little hand here, uh, it's looking kind of blurry there. The middle hands here uh, are not articulated at all, and his feet are not articulated at all, and also his tail is not articulated. Um, but there is a reason why this is here, because if you put them in the trash can here, he grabs onto the trash can like so. So you could have them hanging, and you could see them in the back well, let me show you guys where it hangs on to there's a little little hole there and it's got a little tip there just put it in there and there you go unlike the original one uh or the original figure uh, it had a massive hole in the back and to put the trash can on uh, but this one just has a little a little gap or a little hole there you could just slide this in and bada beam bada boom but yeah the reason why it's his little hands like i mentioned before is so you could stand out of the trash can and put the camera a little bit higher up so you can hang on the trash can like that and you could see them on the back like that so you could display them like that if it didn't have those little hands he will be all the way back there you can't really see them in the back so that's why that little touch is there you could see them in the back so anyways that's Joe eyeball and as far as muck man let me take this gun out of his hand uh, this guy looks just like he came out of the cartoon uh, everything little detail there another little thing that I have to pick on is is the color of the mirror here if you guys could see it's orange there but in the box it's purple so that's, that's a little different and also this has a, like a little greenish tint to it like a rotten apple and here's just gray so you can focus yeah it's gray there so that's the difference that I, I noticed um, other than that really cool really cool really cool figure that they made um it's got all these little details down here i guess that's like a little ketchup bottle i don't know what kind of can that is probably another trash can like a tiny trash can but the articulation on this foot is crazy look at this thing it goes all over the place and it's really good articulation i guess it's like a ball joint back here as you can see it's a whole ball so it gives it, it gives it that whole full tilt on the foot the rotation which is really really cool and a plus about the this whole uh, cap at the bottom or the sewer uh, cover uh, if you guys see the cartoon he steps on the sewer cover and it gets stuck to the bottom of his foot which is cool because it's a bonus because it stands up really great uh, you don't have to worry about uh, toppling over or anything like that like the android the crane android body his feet were so tiny that he kept tumbling over which really sucked but uh, this little sewer thing helps out a lot um, and then he's got a little trash can there uh, I don't know what kind of can is that it looks like a spray can and little details there mushroom there a little flower there and like I was saying earlier put the camera up a little bit more uh, this little clothespin right here I don't know it's not really detailed and it's not painted in well but like I said it's just me being picky um, like I said I was excited about this figure so I'm, I'm very picky about the figure uh, this is one of my favorite figures of all time so uh, yeah so there we go and then the banana up here looks really cool it's like a rubbery plastic you can move it around if you want a little roach and then um, it does have that two tone the darker tone at the back and then the lighter tone at the front um, the only th the only thing too is that uh, up here the actual tone goes just like a little circle here instead of going straight half half of the face dark and half of the face the, the front face lighter and the back part of his head is uh, supposed to be darker like all the other figures this one they actually just put a little round spot of light on top why did 
why did it do that i have no idea but they did that doesn't look bad i just you know just spotting the difference between this figure and all the other figures that NECA have made recently. Let's get into the articulation. Articulation, he looks up that much. He looks, well, he doesn't really look down. Uh, he can look to the side pretty well, this side pretty well. Um, it is scorching hot here where I'm at. Um, 104 degrees, I think it was. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I think that's what heated up these joints. <laughs> So I didn't have to eat up these joints. Uh, he goes all the way up like that, rotates all the way around. His arm also rotates all the way around, moves up and moves down. He does not have an app crunch. Well, he somewhat does, but not really. Uh, but it does rotate from the chest up, it does rotate. And then it has another rotating here at the waist. Uh, kicks out that far out and then double joints and knees and then i showed you the articulation on the feet which were incredible uh, the same thing with this one actually it rotates all the way around which is pretty cool same thing on this side double joint to knee kicks out that much and then the arm same thing uh he does have a little mouth that i could uh exchange move or i could uh, take off there you go <laughs> it looks kind of funny but uh, i could switch out the mouse let me go get the mouth and here is the other mouth oops i have upside down yeah can't see it there you go which is like a slight slightly open mouth you, you can see this one it's closed and this one is open Switch that one around. And there you go. Really cool. And then it does come with the ooze. But a muted, muted, mutagen. I think they call it mutagen on that episode. Oh, so, that sucks. This, <laughs> I guess if you open it, the little sticker comes out with it. Whatever, I could just replace it. Oh, there you go. Just put the sticker back into a little barrel and then pull out the slime. I know a lot of people are not gonna use the slime because they don't want to ruin their figure, but this is really cool slime. Ooh, it's nice. It's that nice slime dab. Really nice slime. So that's supposed to go on the backpack, I guess. Like that. cool it's cool because it doesn't really leave any oh <laughs> i take that back it did leave a little bit but it's not that bad it's not gonna leave your figure too sticky so you could dip joe into it but yeah it doesn't really leave too much behind but yeah that's that's what it is and that's the slime and i don't know what you're supposed to do with the slime other than that, just slime him or something. But there you go. It's really cool that it comes with the slime. You know, there's not really that many figures out there that come with slime. And then back in the 90s or 80s, uh, we used to get a bunch of figures with slime. And that was like the thing to do with your figures is uh, play with slime and your figures. But uh, I know the original figure, the, the Playmate figure that we had as a kids, uh, you put slime in the back and then it comes out of his mouth, I believe, and then out of his chest, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's the way it happened. Um, I do have the original figure, but I'm in the process of moving all my stuff into a new office. So you guys can tell it's a whole brand new background back here. Um, that's because I'm moving offices. I'm moving from one room to the other room, so um, I don't have the original figure out. Uh, I have no idea what it is. It's one in one of my boxes, so I can't compare them to the original figure, unfortunately. But yeah. With that being said, that is it for this review. All right, guys. I almost forgot to uh, do a comparison in height. Uh, here's a comparison with Rocksteady. Uh, they're pretty much the same height. Well, this guy's a little bit more taller, uh, just because of these of these little. Um, 
the helmet I made for Rocksteady, so it kind of it's kind of the same height because just because of the helmet that I made for him. But if he didn't have the helmet, um, he'll be uh, like I guess up to his eyeballs. So there you go. There's a comparison in height. All right, guys. So I'm gonna start doing this thing on my figures where I Rick rate my figures, and it'll be from a scale from zero to five. So starting with this figure i give this figure a five out of five rick ratings um this is by far one of my favorite NECA cartoon series of the teenage mention the turtle figures that they have made so far uh awesome figure awesome really really cool figure if you guys ever see this guy make sure you pick him up because he's really cool uh, one of my friends did mention that it does come with uh, with not that many accessories, uh, which uh, I, I kind of understand because if you guys ever saw the cartoon that he came on, like I mentioned before, um, he doesn't really come with any weapons or anything for it. So for Neca to throw in this uh, slime in here was a, what's a bonus. So uh, yeah, anyways, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.